Welcome to the Design In It 9 video learning series. In this video, we're going to be working in Design In It Graphics Studio section. We want to make a sweater for a child, and I'm going to show you how to use the automatic conversion wizard. Before we do this, let's exit out of this for a second and go into original pattern drafting and say file thumbnails, a child's top. Okay, this is the one that comes with designing it. The tensions that I'm using. Oh, let's work in centimeters. Options, units of measurement, centimeters. Okay and the tensions for this particular sweater are 32 stitches and 40 rows per 10 centimeters okay i'm going to say view the piece size and what i really want to know is the width of the front that's 130 stitches wide and the maximum height is 178 rows and that's what I need to know. So let's go back into Designing It Graphics Studio and let's say File Thumbnails. And we want to convert this. Cute, cute, cute. This would make a darling sweater for a child. I'm going to say here, Start the Wizard. This is going to be a picture. Okay. I want this to be the tension is 32 stitches and 40 rows. That's okay. We looked at our sweater. We said it needed to be 130 stitches wide. And that means the pattern is going to be 122 rows high. And that's okay because we had up to 178 rows. So this will be running along the bottom. Okay, I'm going to use the fine green dithering for the best detail. And it has already calculated out the optimum colors for me and it has already converted it and it's perfect. We can make a few changes. Let's turn this grid off. I want to say tidy the image and I want to pick up all these colors and then I want to say that I want the background color to be this dark brown and the eraser and I want to go in and I need to include the colors that are in between and I want to erase the background just like we did for the other one. And look at, I could go right up next to this dog. See that? And I can just swoop out the whole background. Easy, easy, easy. And here I can go right up, right up along the edge of this dog too. And I missed a couple areas. We'll go back and fix that in a second. Let's just do this really quick. And down in here, a little bit right there, I'm going to pick up my, my eyedropper and pick that up. And the same thing here, look at, I can go right up to the edge here. And I'm going to go down here and get rid of all this. And we're going to say, and the same thing over here. And I'm going to need to pick up my eyedropper to get these colors. Look how fast this is. This is just tremendous. This is going to make the cutest sweater. 
and close that and go ahead and preview the conversion again and this is what it would look like knit and it mixes a lot of different colors to give you that and if you want to have less colors you could say auto and say I only want to have three colors in my design and it will automatically choose colors for you it's picked these three colors as the best choices to give you this perfect so let's say okay I'm not going to save this and let's see what we have this is going to be a three color jacquard with the color changer okay I'm going to say fix the jacquard errors and it's asking can it change the sequence that you put the yarn in the feeders which one goes where to give you the fewest errors of course I want it to do that and correct that and it's mixed this to give you that background color but I actually want to use my paintbrush and let's just pick up a big paintbrush and we just want to actually go right around here and just get rid of this should be solid and we just need to go around here and we're just painting this let's pick up an even bigger paintbrush and just get rid of all this because this part we want it solid and the dogs we want to have as much detail as possible and let's go down over here and this stitch over here and there you go how about these two stitches right here turn off my paintbrush and we might want to make this red a little bit more brown let's go into the palette yarn color setup this color we would like to make it more brown looking apply this color and okay and there's my puppies they're just too cute okay so one more thing usually when you save it this color has a, is opaque, this one is opaque, and this one right now is transparent, which means when I save this and import this into another file, this background will be replaced because it's transparent with whatever color is in the garment. And I don't want to do that. I'm going to force it to be opaque, and then I'm going to say save, and I'm going to say new pattern I don't need to save the shaping file the front okay edit import a single motif and here's our puppies okay and let's move them down here this is exactly what we wanted and it fits exactly because we looked that up first and because I changed this color to opaque you can see the square this means that this blue isn't going to be in the middle of this face and we can take this paint bucket and pick up this color and fill in the rest and turn the paint bucket off and this is what it would look like knit and I could pick this so that I could move my shape a little bit and adjust it and cut it out and it's perfectly centered it's ready to knit and it would be a three color jacquard and I just need to say file and save this as and in my folder 
and I'm going to call this one Puppy Front. Because I had a shape, if I go to say Integrate, Designing it automatically integrates with it for you. Let's We don't want that. And when I go to transfer it to the machine, I'm going to say it's an integrated download and it will send this with this exact placement. So I love this. We don't want to see all those pieces. We just want to see the front. There you go. And this took minutes. So the wizard is great and the background and tidy image, all of these new features for designing it just make you look like a hero instantly with your knit design. How great is this? Thank you.